All right, Sagittarius, I just finished your 2024 reading. Really great reading. Let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you here. That is available on Patreon right now and also for early access. If you are interested in getting it early, okay? The links are down below or you can find it at mindsetunicorn.me. Um, yeah. Okay. Spirit's like, there's a little bit of a hidden energy here that's going into this birthing that's happening for you next year. It's very spiritual. It's very sacred. Three of Cups energy. It's also very playful. I did see that you're finding your match. We've got the King and Queen of Fire, okay, coming out next year. So that's really beautiful. The very um, end of the year, we also had an underlying energy of the Four of Wands. And there's your Four of Wands. So either this is a, a marriage that I feel like is going to be reinvigorated. Um, it could be that you're going to meet divine timing, that person that you are going to marry. Um, but it really seems like it's a beautiful year. So let's take a look at what else Spirit wants you to know right now. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Interesting. Again, I think you're not even looking for what you're going to participate in, but it is coming and it starts right off the beginning with you knowing that you have everything that you need in January. Everything that you need is right there for you and it uh, shows up with a lot of love, King of Cups. And I also had noticed when I looked out of the corner of my eye, the Oracle deck that was the end of your reading, there's the masculine. There were lots of energies. We also ended your last oracle of animals was a double emperor. So I do feel like there's some big, there's a lot of empress energy and a lot of emperor energy, a lot of birthing energy, right? You start right off the year with this creation birthing energy. For some of you, maybe this is about you coming into union with yourself, but I feel that this is gonna be a big relationship year for a lot of you, okay? Overall energy here for right now is the three of air. So it's like you've been walking through a little bit of a hard time here, kind of walking on, feeling like you're walking on your own, but you've had angels with you the whole time. What's still impacting you from the past is the four of air. This uh, almost like, it took you a while to accept that you needed to heal, okay? That um, you needed to complete a process, that you needed to heal something. And next year is a lot of completing prospects, okay? A lot of uh, different parts uh, coming into completion. Current energy, you're calling in this strength, but there's almost a pouty attitude about it, okay? The strength with the five of fire, and what's hidden there is the queen of fire. So either you're not allowing that fire of yourself to open your heart, or you could be, you know, the emperor here, and you're like, no, there's not a queen out there for me. And you're wrong, <laughs> it's something very protected for you. But regardless, there's almost like a, a little bit of a temper tantrum kind of going on. But future possibilities is, it's really interesting because they're showing me Pan, right? The Pied Piper. Um, played my flute and all the rats followed me. But it's like 
four of fire here, four of wands, and you're carrying this big, like, honking piece of concrete. And it's like, yeah, all y'all follow me. But only one of you can actually feel this concrete. Only one of you can actually use this. The rest of you are going to get knocked out by it. Okay? So let's go ahead and clarify here. Three of air. Thank you, spirit. Knight of wands, ten of cups, and the seven of pentacles. Underlying, we've got the two of cups. Now, for some of you, you've either been on a different page than somebody or something that you're dealing with, or you haven't met, you haven't had that divine moment, right place, right time yet. Um, I think you've been very determined that you want love, you want intimacy, but you're also really focused on your own growth right now. And that means that you're not putting it all into some bucket somewhere, right? In the past here, this four of air, temperance, eight of swords, six of swords. Yeah, that's a 14, 14 portal there. Okay, um, again, it, that breaks down to five, five, which breaks down to 10, which breaks down to a completion. Um, there's an aspect here that you're like, I walked away from what wasn't serving me, but they're showing me that you never quite healed from it because It was like, there's still something meant for you here, whether it's the energy, okay? But you took a, well, it's like almost like a, a detour, okay? Underlying, there's the Knight of Cups and the Hangman. It could be that you, and there's the Uber, <laughs> my uh, Eight of Wands. It could be that you were dealing with something too immature for you. Okay. Strength with this five of fire. Thank you, spirit. Ace of cups. Ten of wands. And the king of pentacles. I get the idea... They're say, singing that song in my head. It's really old. Love the one you're with. But there's this idea of it's about loving yourself. Whatever you're bringing forward, there's almost like a bit of service that has to be done. It might even be that you meet this person through work or through community. Um... And there's a little bit of an underlying energy here right now that you're a little closed off, okay? Queen of Fire. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Ten of Swords on the bottom. Yeah, I think that... It's almost like you're just, you're not willing to just sustain anymore, right? They're showing me this, almost like this sadness of a TV dinner, right? Like you were like, I wanted love, because there's that King of Cups again. I wanted love and I just got hurt. I wanted something I would love, but it didn't manifest. For some of you, it's the fact that you didn't love the way you used to live and you're rising up and things are becoming more affordable and you're being able to live a better life. And you're like, I'm not going back to beans and rice and TV dinners. You're like, I'm not going there, okay? For a fire. 
Five of Wands, the Moon, and the Page of Swords. The underlying is the Five of Cups. Be aware, I think some of you are like, I'm teaching the lesson here. And Spirit's like, oh, are you? Spirit's like, the lesson's going to come in from us when you least expect it. And um, I think whatever this uh, page of swords is, is this truth that you need to speak and let go of something, which I feel like is in your throat chakra at the beginning of the year. Okay. Tell me about this Knight of Wands, please, Spirit. Thank you. The Devil, the Emperor, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, you're really like, um, when I put my heart into it, there's just nothing that matches my fire. There's nothing that, that fits. And um, I may look like I'm the bad guy here, but I'm not putting into it. Okay. Six of Swords here in the past. Thank you. King of Wands. Five of Cups. King of Cups. I feel like... You probably dealt with somebody that was emotionally unavailable or emotionally all over the place. And again, the 14 might be a significant number for you or angel number 14, 14. Um, but I think that that had to happen because it led you to the path that you've been through over the last year. <laughs> okay, someone needed to hear that. King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Hermit. Yeah, I feel like you don't even know that this energy is already in your realm. Okay, um, or if you're already dealing with someone I think that you might feel that um, they're having to rebuild themselves and rather than take on the burden, you're kind of keeping it all up in your head, um, which is still a burden, but regardless, it's not really doing a lot right now. Okay. All of these pentacles here, Spirit. Queen of Swords, Nine of Wands, the Eight of Swords. I feel like, um, again, whatever you're holding back from is starting to build up. And I think by the beginning of the year, you're not going to be able to hold it in, especially if it has to do with finances in your life, okay? Foundation of your life. Page of Swords and the Page of Swords and the Moon again and the Magician. You manifested this way to... Um, I feel like go a little higher, right? Like spirits, like whatever this is, it gives you that ace of earth that you start the year off with where you know that everything is already yours. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the universe wants to say. Queen of cups, five of pentacles and the 10 of cups. Okay. And I love that it landed on this emotionally volatile King of Cups, okay? I feel like whatever you're heading for is stabilizing something. 
whether it's something new for you or something coming back together, it's an open upper heart chakra. It's not the same love or the type of love that you were dealing with before. It's not emotionally unavailable or emotionally unstable. It's very stable. It's got a lot of blessings with it. For some of you, this is new love. Maybe you uh, connect in a way because both of you have children and you understand it. Or it's just that the child and you both play the same way. Um, there's a lot of balance that comes here, okay? Let's go ahead and close it off with some oracle cards here. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Um, some of you could have some cancer in your chart, but there's this feeling that they're showing me. You start feeling this coming in, in cancer season. And I think that it's going to really hit strong, really be passionate and playful and creative, whatever this is, by Leo season. Could be that um, you're releasing what you've known you had to release. Again, that could be something with cancer in their chart. Um, but you're releasing and what it opens up creatively is exactly the opposite, the moon and the sun, right? That's what we've got here, the moon and the sun. And there's opposition. Again, they're just trying to tell you, this is not the same. Whatever, the way it comes in and whatever it is, it's not the same, okay? And they just want you to be clear about that. So I hope this helps you. Uh, make sure if you've not subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell, click subscribe so that you know when the 2024 drops for you if you're not joining us on Patreon or taking advantage of the early release. Like, share, comment, help the channel out. We're going to really uh, work towards growth next year. And I just love you guys so much. And I'm so grateful to have had your support over the last couple of years. Okay. So much love, my friends. Bye.